bunch of the boys were hooping it up in the Malamute saloon. And the kid that handles the music box was hitting a jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo game sat dangerous Dan McGrew. And watching his luck was his ladder love, the, the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was 50 below, and into the din and the glare, there stumbled a miner, fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave and scarcely the strength of a louse. Yet he tilted a poke of dust on the bar and he called for drinks for the house. There was none could place the stranger's face, though we searched ourselves for a clue. But we drank his health, and the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he, and he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell. With a face most hair, and the dreary stare of a dog whose day is done. As he watered the green stuff in his glass, and the drops fell one by one. Then I got to figuring who he was, and wondering what he'd do. And I turned my head, and there watching him was the lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering round the room, and he seemed in a kind of daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink. There was no one else on the stool. So the stranger stumbles across the room and flops down there like a fool. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat. And I saw him sway. Then he clutched the keys with his tail on hands. My God. But that man could play. Were you ever out in the great alone when the moon was awfully clear and the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you most could hear? With only the howl of a timber wolf and you camped there in the cold. A half dead thing in a stark dead world. Clean mad for the muck called gold. While high overhead, green, yellow and red, the north lights swept in bars. Then you've a hunch what the music meant. Hunger and night and the stars. And hunger... Not of the belly kind that's banished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for a home and all that that means. For a fireside far from the cares that are, four walls and a roof above. But oh, so cram full of cozy joy and crowned with a woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge, the lady that's known as Lou. Then on a sudden, the music changed, so soft that you scarce could hear, but you felt that your life had been looted clean of all that it once held dear, that someone had stolen the woman you loved, and that her love was a devil's lie, that your guts were gone, and the best for you was to crawl away and die. T'was the crowning cry of a heart's despair, and it thrills you through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread me's air, said dangerous Dan McGrew. The music almost died away, then it burst like a pent-up flood. And it seemed to say, repay, repay, and my eyes were filled with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong, then it stung like a frozen lash. And the lust awoke to kill, to kill. Then the music stopped with a crash. And the stranger turned. And his eyes, they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat. And I saw him sway. Then his lips went in in a kind of grin, and he spoke. And his voice was calm. And boys, says he, 
You don't know me, none of you care a damn, but I want to state that my words are straight, and I'll bet my poke they're true, that one of you is a hound of hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head, the lights went out, and two guns blazed in the dark, and a woman screamed, and the lights went up. And two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head, pumped full of lead, was dangerous Dan McGrew. While the man from the crick lay clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case, and I guess you ought to know that they say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and uh, I'm not denying it's so. I'm not so wise as the lawyer guys, but strictly between us two. The woman that kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou. Lou.